Club. I'm your host, Kevin. With me is Tori and Sean. Thank you for joining me this week, guys. It's, a, it's an honor to have you. This week we'll be discussing the 1979 horror classic, The Zombie. It's an Italian film uh, directed by the famed Italian director Lucio Fulci. That probably means not a whole lot to anybody. For those of you joining us for the first time, Be Movie Club, it's like a book club. I'll post online uh, what movie we'll be doing, and you can send me your questions, comments, favorite quotes, favorite scenes. Anything you want to get off your chest, please feel free. Go ahead and tweet it. <laughs> you can uh, reach me on Twitter, at KD9575. Also, don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button on YouTube, KD9575, and click the thumbs up on the B Movie Club Facebook page, original B Movie Club, so it's not to be confused with all those other B Movie Clubs out there. You should write that down. <laughs> this is true. So, Zombie, Tori, why don't you uh, tell us what the plot was about? Yeah, I mean, there's a uh, epidemic, which is overwhelming island went in it. They couldn't contain it. Floating boat in the beginning pretty much uh, foreshadows the, the movie. I mean, what what more is there to say? The rest of the plot. Uh, okay, because that was the first <laughs> that was five the first. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you will see things you've never seen before. This is true. That was, that's a good... Sean, Anything you want to add to that description? Maybe um, the next ten minutes. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll we can go back together. and forth. I thought it was a pretty good movie. There was unexpected things that you won't be expecting. By definition. Spanish yes. Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, the boat has come from this uh, island in the Caribbean, uh, where for some reason, never adequately explained, the dead return from the grave to, uh, to attack the living, essentially. And there's a doctor there. He's trying to get to the bottom of it. Meanwhile, his, his daughter and a newspaper reporter and a vacationing couple all arrive on the island and... They are for scuba. <laughs> that, that is true. Evidently, uh, the scuba diving attire in Italy varies a little bit from Southern California. Or even the Caribbean. <laughs> or really, pretty much anywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I don't want to spoil everything. There's a lot of... It starts off... Let's just say he builds the, the mood a little bit. Anticipation. The anticipation. He takes his sweet time. Uh, but when, when the zombie action, the hot zombie action occurs, it is fast and the furious. For real. And they just keep coming. They just keep coming. And you don't see the your first zombie until the last five minutes of the movie. Right. It's real It's real fast and real furious. You don't blink. Don't, yeah, don't go to the bathroom. That <laughs> uh, if you do courtesy play. So, um, so this movie was kind of a, uh, a groundbreaking uh, change of direction. Lucio Fulci, like I said, he's an Italian director who'd done other types of movies. This is his first uh, horror movie, and obviously his first zombie movie. And it's called Zombie. Essentially what occurred, <laughs> this is true as well, in uh, Europe it is referred to as Zombie 2. Because uh, when the original Dawn of the Dead came out and hit Europe, they translated it as just zombie, Z-O-M-B-I. Uh, this movie, although actually written earlier um, than Dawn of the Dead, it, they, they released it to try to cash in on the, the zombie craze, if you will. Um, so that's why it was called Zombie 2, even though it really had no connection to Dawn of the Dead. Um, and in America it's called Zombie, so. What was the original script name? You know what? That's an excellent question. I was thinking about that. It was called... First person to post the answer will win a prize. <laughs> From someone who will remain nameless. <laughs> the Bones of St. Mary's. I don't know. A anyway. Um, so, what can I tell you about this movie? There's a lot of interesting things. If you're paying close attention, you'll see a cameo of the director. Um... All the other actors, I you wouldn't recognize them from anything. <laughs> I, they're, I guess they're Italian or American or British stars, or not stars, 
actors, <laughs> journeyman actors from the local uh, touring mime show, evidently. The <laughs> dumb. <laughs> um, but uh, there's interesting, there's, like I was saying, uh, like I told these guys previously, uh, there are scenes in this movie that you've never seen before. And it's interesting, it's, it's literally a zombie fighting a real live tiger shark. Again, this is in Italy. They didn't, they didn't have mechanical fago sharks. They said, here's a real one. A Whatever. fago shark? It was a tiger shark. I see. You know what I'm saying? Um, and what's interesting is the zombie who had to play the one fighting uh, was actually the shark's trainer. I, I didn't know there were shark's trainers, but there you go. Uh, and what's interesting is that they actually had hired an actor to play that role. And evidently, that actor came down with, like, stomach flu or food poisoning or something. Yeah, basically, uh, <laughs> they told him to get in the water and he crapped his pants. So that was, that was the sickness. Oh, that. It was, yeah, control of the diarrhea. <laughs> um, projectile. Projectile. But what's also interesting, at least to me, is that um, uh, the director had, like, a medical background. So <laughs> I expect to see a lot of anatomically correct uh, gore in this. Um, things that, like, literally uh, you won't see in American films because they're just, it's too ridiculous, too, too grotesque, if you will. In fact, it was banned in many uh, countries in Europe because it was so rough. Uh, with all the cuts uh, in America, the movie's only 55 minutes long. <laughs> exactly. So, there's yeah. that. So there's there's the problem with it all. Uh, it's not rated. Right. It is not rated. Exactly right. It's funny. I went on, um, as I usually do, I go for uh, my research. And I went on to IMDb, and they had, like, the parental guy. I was like, I'm kind of curious, click on it, and all it said is, is you crazy? No, it didn't. <laughs> it did but it sounded pretty <laughs> funny. Um, so there you <laughs> Basically, the, the makeup, it was basically uh, like some kind of a uh, sand kind of ma mixture that they did. And literally, the director referred to zombies as walking flower pods. Let's see, in Italian, I can it's a loose translation. Yeah. It means something. Yeah. yeah. It means something in Italian. Um, <laughs> and actually, people wa wonder if literally uh, only one actor played the zombies, because a lot of them looked similar. And really, what it was is Not they were until you all, get to know them. Right. I mean, they have their own distinct personalities. Yeah. Uh, but it was because they had, like, a family. Like, brother, a bunch of brothers were playing all the zombies, so that's why. So there you go. Good times. It's yeah. not racist. Uh, what? <laughs> How dare you, <laughs> Big Joe? And Chili. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, you've heard about the tiger shark. There's the, the splinter in the eye and all its nauseating detail. Every time a zombie bites someone, it is rough, rough, rough. And the headshots. Yes. Uh, they're, they're holding off the zombies with guns and throwing Molotov cocktails. It oh, gets bowling. serious. Molotov bowling, really. It, it gets serious. It's underhanded. No can do. Um, sadly, this movie is not streaming instantly on Netflix. I actually had to go through uh, the snail mail. Dad actually mailed me the disc, so I'm able to watch it over and over again. Get all the, uh, the interesting uh, uh, extras uh, behind the scenes. No, there's none of that on there. The trailers. The trailers, there is that. Good times. Uh, so you either need to do do it that way through Netflix or go to your local bargain bin, uh, garage sale, swap meet, and see if you can round up your own copy. Check it out. I highly recommend it. All very legal ways to obtain this movie. <laughs> this is true. Uh, what you guys? What you guys think of it? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Damn, my thumb got bitten off. I can't. <laughs> I can't charge it. That's. Yeah. <laughs> That's incomplete. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. I, if I it was shown in sequence. I might have. <laughs> these, yeah. 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 Uh, if you're into zombie gore, then by all means, this is the movie for you. Um, if you prefer, you know, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, I would take a pass on this one. <laughs> uh, sadly, it's only 41% rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. One of those critics know, though. I mean, you know, it's acquired taste, you know? Rembrandt doesn't appeal to everyone. Uh, anyway, uh, so 
next week, uh, I am thinking of doing a comedy. I'm going to go back to the comedy uh, genre. And I'm going to do Tommy Boy. Just came to me. Uh, Tommy Boy starring uh, David Spade and Chris Farley. It's a classic. It is streaming instantly on Netflix, so by all means, check it out. Send in your questions and comments to my page on Facebook or on Twitter or go directly to the web, uh, the YouTube site. Um, Who's your favorite little rascal? A spanky. Got it. Although I do like Stymie as well. <laughs> anyway. I like artichokes. <laughs> but don't forget to spread the word, okay? You may have joined up, but has your mailman joined up? Okay? Your next door neighbor? Your, your, <laughs> your sketchy uncle? Touchy McFeely? Is he signed up? Anyway, spread the word. As you know, or just I, repost. <laughs> or repost. Do whatever you got. Share. Do. Go door to door. Sharing is caring. There you go. Smoke signals. As you know, I end every episode with a totally out of context quote. And here's a close approximation of one. My papa say, when the earth, when the earth spit up the dead, and the dead rise from the grave, and suck the blood of the living. No, that was pretty close, but whatever. Thank you for joining us yes, again. Thank you. Again, next week it will be Tommy Boy. Be well.